to be able to perform in vivo to photon imaging of microglia. Uh, it's a combination of uh, use of uh, uh, reporter mice uh, that uh, uh, fluorescently express uh, in microglia uh, um, uh, fluorescent proteins that allow the visualization uh, of those cells. Uh, and uh, uh, this is combined with uh, uh, an in vivo to photon imaging microscope that uh, allows uh, uh, imaging of the cells uh, in real time. This microscopy can be performed in anesthetized animals uh, through a thin skull, uh, and the microscope can image, we can image the microglia through a thin skull or a window. And uh, we have participated uh, with collaborators in development of uh, windows that uh, allow imaging, but without inducing inflammatory activity uh, in, uh, in the brain. Um, and these uh, are also can be used for longitudinal imaging. So to be able to image the same mouse multiple times, uh, and for, for this type of protocols, we use the vasculature as a map, and we're able to be able to find the same area that we have imaged a week later or a month later and perform imaging in the same area. Um, and this is really important, especially when we study cell-cell interactions, because this is how we can get the information, for example, on the turnover of spines, that it cannot be done from a single individual individual uh, uh, a time point uh, in disease, in, uh, in in disease or in normal in normal uh, um, in a normal brain, um, and uh, the uh, the uh, we also uh, our two photon imaging also includes imaging in awake animals, where uh, this is important because when we study neuronal activity, we can see maximum activation when the animal is awake and not anesthetized, and uh, this uh, opens I think uh, the way for us to combine this with behavioral paradigms. Uh, and I think that by combining uh, two photon microscopy with behavioral paradigms to change uh, 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 neuronal activity, evoke neuronal activity, uh, that's where we can get even further into the um, uh, understanding uh, of uh, dynamic responses uh, of, uh, of uh, those cells uh, in, uh, um, uh, in the brain.